All right, welcome back to Speed Hack, hosted by myself, Dave Dombro, and Kevin Fallon, Behind the Lens. All right, so today's hack is a bit personal. Uh, it all starts back uh, in November of 2019. I was out there running on the trail, kind of one of those beautiful fall days. The leaves are covering the rocks, they're covering the roots. And uh, before I knew it, I hit a leaf or a rock and I was on the ground, heard three snaps and ended up uh, fracturing my fibula. So pretty serious injury, but uh, that actually led to today's uh, hack idea. And what we mean by that is, in order to get back to running, turn to this brace. Uh, this is a great brace from Don Joy. It's, it's light, um, has a really good feel about it. Uh, and it really got me back, giving me the confidence to get back on the trail. But the one drawback about any brace is that they don't integrate that well with shoes, right? Because they need to fit a lot of different types of footwear. So that led to our hack idea for today is how do we uh, integrate this brace into a trail shoe in a more seamless way? We think the Solomon Speed Cross 5 is a great platform to test our theory about integrating an ankle brace into the shoe. It's a popular all-around shoe, and the way it's constructed will afford us a good opportunity to integrate this very well. We plan to cut the brace open and slide it behind the lining of the collar in this shoe. That should eliminate any seams or any sharp points and make it very comfortable. Plus, this shoe has a very robust construction, so when we stitch through the upper and attach the brace, it should offer a very secure anchor point. So we're very anxious to see how well we can actually integrate this with the hack. Here's a sketch of what we think it'll look like. Okay, there's only one thing left to do. Let's get hacking. All right, so we've done the hack, and now I'm gonna take it out on the trail myself and see how the stock compares to the hacked version. And I'll put the hacked version on my right foot, which is my injured foot, and I'll put the stock on my left foot. All right, so I'm back from the run, and I have to say, this was exceptionally good. It gave me a lot of confidence on the trail um, that I didn't actually have with the stock one on my injured foot. So it was so good, in fact, that I'm planning on redoing the hack uh, for myself uh, in the future, um, which is definitely a sign uh, that it was successful. So why is this important? Well, when we did our research, we found that three out of four trail runners that injure their ankle, they're going to do it again. So with this, this is gonna give them the confidence, like it did for me, to hopefully go faster and have a more successful run. So this was a, obviously a personal one on my side. Really happy we did it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next speed hack.